I really do Welcome. like that Everything. effect of that scar the and uh, long awaited your arrival. squint in the eye. What is this? Horns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. The Pawn Legion, really? Pray. Huh. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Too long didn't read character creation. Yes. Okay, finalize the character and proceed. She looks a lot paler there than I remember. Pawns are oft called nomads. We wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. And her voice is way deeper than I was expecting. Wow, okay. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. I thought that I'd picked a more moderate depth to the voice, but apparently not. Maybe I misclicked or something. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. Okay. 
You can have it later, but it'll cost. Yeah. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as Luke would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. Why, thank you. What? You've no memories, you say? I, uh, uh, I remember spending a lot of time making characters. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. Okay, Melv. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Oh. Yeah. What are you doing, Persephone? By touching a riftstone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds, which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you, however, so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Hail, Arisen. Hail. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. Oh. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Tell me of the rift stones. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. That By was short their and power sweet. have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. And of the arisen. the name given to fate's chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Okay, Very another well. time then. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Okay, so, my lord, right. We've got a lot of stuff to go through. And I am amused that uh, Persephone is better equipped than I am right now. Got a robe at least. Uh, NPC logbook. Let's uh, look so. Two else. If anyone else. Uh, nope. Order. Newest added. Oh, never mind. Right. Exploring. Combining materials, we've seen that one, I'm sure. Shops and facilities, rift stones. Uh, by touching the rift stone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds, we've seen that. Pawns, pawns. The Arisen need ne uh, never travel alone, for pawns are always willing to accompany them. As the Arisen, you will summon and form a con uh, covenant with your very own loyal pawn, your main pawn, who will share in your adventures and grow in strength and ability alongside you. You may also enlist the aid of support pawns, who serve other Arisen in other worlds, other online players. Pawns are not entirely dependent on the Arisen's orders, and will gather materials and charge into battle on their own initiative. They can be given items from the item menu, and are able to use curatives in their inventory to heal themselves as necessary. Be sure to hand over any items you would like your pawns to use ahead of time, but bear in mind that the Arisen cannot use items from pawns' inventories. Pawns have the ability to travel to other worlds and glean valuable snippets of information. See, this is stuff that I've heard about, and this sounds amazing. Uh, which they will bring back to their masters. If your pawn has any discoveries to report, they will do so after you have rested in town. Pawns can also put their experience to practical use, such as guiding you to dungeons and quest destinations, or showing you where hidden treasure chests can be found. There are some places in this world where, for one reason or another, pawns are not welcome to tread. Should the Arisen seek to enter such a location, they will have to part ways with any pawns whom they are travelling with, but only temporarily. 
Once the Arisen has left the area in question, their pawns will seek them out in order to rejoin the party. Right. Robe's best clothing, I agree. There are four types of pawn inclinations. When you enter the covenant with your main pawn, you will be able to select an inclination for them. This will determine certain aspects of the pawn's behavior, including their manner of speech and the actions they tend to take. However, all pawns serve the Arisen faithfully, regardless of their inclina inclination. Kind-hearted pawns, these pawns are attentive to the Arisen and their allies and are quick to aid them when they are in need. In battle, they prioritize support, holding down foes and casting beneficial enchantments. Loyal and dutiful, they are devoted to the Arisen and prefer to remain by their side. Calm pawns, these pawns are strategic thinkers who can be counted upon to assist the Arisen no matter the difficulty faced. In battle, they are concerned with survival, favoring defense and evasion and employing clever tactics to best their foes. Shrewd and efficient, they will dispose of unneeded items in their packs on their own initiative. <laughs> They all just dump stuff out of their packs? Oh, I'm I'm quite concerned about this. I thought I was bringing someone along to carry my burdens. Apparently, no. God damn it. Uh, fair warning, pawns will copy your or other players' playstyles if you use the same class. Ah, okay. Simple pawns. These pawns are earnest and adventurous. They will ensure that the Arisen's journey is filled with new discoveries. As keen explorers brimming with curiosity, they, will highly, uh, they are highly observant and tend to be the most concerned with gathering items and examining their surroundings. They are also generous by nature and will often gift their friends, their finds to other companions. Straightforward pawns. These pawns are candid and impulsive and are sure to make the Arisen's journey an unforgettable experience. Adept at spotting enemies from afar and blessed with fighting spirit, they are apt to rush headlong into battle, tackling even the largest monsters with unflinching courage. Their bold and decisive assaults can turn the tide when all seems lost. Alright. Uh, have we found anything else in here? Ah, okay. So you've got a stave... Uh, sorry, a staff, a wooden staff commonly wielded by neophytes who value its simple make and easy handling. Uh, traveler's robes, uh, sorry, missionary's robes, pilgrim's tights, and that's that. Okay, well, I kind of want you to have some things, though. Uh, give to Persephone. I'm going to give you three. There you go. I feel that you're not going to throw away restoratives. I certainly hope you don't, at the very least. All right. I mean, I guess I could have a look at that again. Hello. I've a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft what I can using what's in my pack. All right. Oh. Go straight forward. Specialization log logistician. So, specialization. Okay. Pawn badges. Pawns are awarded badges as a mark of their accumulated knowledge and exper expertise. Whether that be proficiency in combat or experience exploring, pawns with badges are more helpful to the Arisen in the world. And indeed. Monster badges are awarded to pawns who have defeated a certain number of particular type of monsters. Such pawns are, by then, so experienced with the creatures in question that they know the best way to defeat it, and will often be offer beneficial advice. Field badges are awarded to pawns who have camped a sufficient number of times in a particular region. When adventuring in said region, the pawn will display their knowledge of the area by offering beneficial advice. Okay. Um, it was made by Capcom. I see. Uh, inclination. Specialization. Pawn who requires this skill gains the initiative to combine materials and move items between al and move items between allied packs. Okay, whether or not this pawn can offer guidance for quests set as a priority. Hmm. This costs me nothing to hire. So Ravak, will you take suggestions for the rest of your party? Uh, this is a Capcom pawn. Yeah, like I guess, like. Since I'm not having to go anywhere to hire them, they're literally just here. They are effectively uh, suggested pawns that uh, the, the the game gives you. Are all of them the same? I will see to it that the law is upheld. 
Which one? I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Uh, you have got a quest, guys. Specialization, none. What's all the quest guide stuff, then? I pray my efforts aid your cause. Kind-hearted, no specialization. Should you wish to pick your foes off from afar, you need look no further than an archer, such as I. Special... They, they've got ratings? Oh, I can hire you. Oh, you're level three. I see, I see, I see. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. Okay, another logistician. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. Okay. I shall very Nothing well. more to say. May fortune speed you. Now then, I've got one mage. I wouldn't mind getting a an archer. I wouldn't mind getting a fighter, frankly. I, I wouldn't mind having all four kind of put together. Hello, Persephone. Can I talk to you? Master, no. idle chatter shan't do our cause any good. I'm going to talk anyway. Matters of import. To go now. Yeah, that, that voice is way deeper than her frame seems to suggest. It's actually quite catching in that yet. way, but I'm not sure it's catching need, in a master? pleasant way or kind of an uncanny way. Small How talk. might I serve you, Arisen? Okay, that's it. Okay, fair enough. Hello? What I can do for you? No, I don't think so. I am probably going to go back and jump into that rift just to see what's going on with all of that in a moment. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. Expedition, sword drills, say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Okay. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. I I use daggers, not swords, but sure. Fancy a, find goods for a treasure chest. Shall we see uh, if we can't make our way over to it? Oh, sure. Uh, what? Are, oh, there's there's things. Go. Going out, are you? You uh, sure that's a good idea? I, I'm not sure. You seem rather unwell. Really? You will Rude. at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Okay, fair enough. What chest did you see? Was it outside the How did you see it outside the camp, Persephone? What kind of witch eyes have you got? I mean, I appreciate it, but all the same. Oh, I can sit. <sighs> I can doze off. That seems rude. Fancy a gander? I find you seem well. See? You think I seem well. The other guy was like, oh, you look sick. Took one glance at me, he's like, oh, you're basically dead. You got the plague, no doubt. I can pick up the copper ore, but is this stealing? Apparently not. You seem well. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. Okay, sure. Let's have a gander then. I don't know if I've got any money. I've got 300 gold. Marvellous. Right. Uh, I'm assuming that certain weapons are not going to be 
Like, I just can't, I straight up can't use weapons that are not uh, for my class, uh, I guess. Well, those aren't any better. Uh, dyed cloth mask? Maybe. That's actually a good fit, I like it. And it looks like it affects the hair as well, that's actually pretty cool. Beseech's hood. Ah, I see. This could go on anyone, though. I would rather not wear it, though. Chainmail. Brigand's vest. Splorer's boots. Debilitation resistance. Ah, okay. Uh, workers' Greaves, Woodland Boots, Debilitate... What kind of Debilitation Resistance is that? But those are too pricey for me, sadly. Graves, got all of those things. And when I could afford this, which would increase my protection a tiny bit... Or I could get these boots. Have some actual pants. Is having pants overrated, chat? Do you feel pants are not the way to go? A trusty sword will betray. <laughs> I certainly would betray this class, yeah. I think if I was going to grab something, I'd probably go for the uh, woodland boots. See if I can sell some stuff then. Oh wow. I can sell those for a lot. Uh, all found in abundance amongst the mountains and crags. Vermont can be used to enhance equipment. I'll sell two of these. Alright. I think I'm gonna have a career in making various odds and sods, brews and potions, lotions and such, and uh, selling them. Change amount, I'm assuming... All oh, right, yeah. Tonk. Equip. Yes. Thank you. Do, can I now sell the gubbins I just took off? I can, apparently. Then yes. All right, that, that is fantastically nice. Always That's a pleasure. Never a chore. Okay, not too bad. Look at us with our pants. Marvellous. Daggers on my pants, too. Brilliant. Alright, let's see. Is there something in history for us to look at? NPC logbook. Oh, okay. This is kind of wild, though. The amount of things. Likes interesting items. Fans... All right, so is there a particular reason to want to give people stuff? Just random NPCs? Uh, is there a, 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 a function in that, a mechanics reason? Or is it just for flavor? Weapons and armor must be equipped in order to benefit from the effects. And the type of equipment you can use is determined by your vocation. Very well. Uh, shops and facilities, armories and apothecaries. Avac spoilers. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So if, if a vendor likes you, they'll give you a discount. Yeah, I, I was kind of wondering if that was the case. There's some sort of affinity system for giving people gifts. Heck, if I can figure out what it does. Fair enough. Buying and selling items and equipment can be bought and sold in shops or by dealing with peddlers. Frequenting a shop or befriending a seller may induce them to offer you valuable items, including rarities that are not available anywhere else. Peddlers in particular are apt to increase the variety of their wares if they get enough business from the same customer. Right, okay. Uh, okay, support pawns. As you explore the world, you will occasionally encounter wandering pawns. You can speak to them to have them join your party as a support pawn. Support pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you. However, 
so you may find the need to hire new ones. Yes, we've seen that part. You can only hire pawns of a higher level than you, your own if you have sufficient rift crystals. Rift crystals can be obtained here and there throughout your adventures, and your main pawn will be rewarded with rift crystals for their endeavours beyond the rift. If you're already travelling with a full party, you will need to dismiss one of your other support pawns in order to, uh, for the new pawn to join you. When you dismiss a pawn, you have the option of evaluating their service by giving them a rating. If you so choose, you can also leave the pawn with a present to bring back to their master beyond the rift. Oh, I like that. So it's kind of like uh, rewarding good messages or really funny bad messages in Dark Souls. Like, I'm going to be honest... There were several. I I hated the heart oh, try you know secret wall door ahead when it was just a wall. That wasn't clever. But telling me that there was a secret portal by jumping down a well, that was chef's kiss. Ten out of ten. Would kill myself for that again. So I rated those up quite highly. It's like it's inventive. Well done. I really like what you did there. Not even mad. While you can change the port pawn's equipment, bear in mind that any newly equipped items will be gifted to the pawn's master when the pawn is dismissed. The previously equipped items will be instantly returned to the pawn's master. Furthermore, when a support pawn is dismissed or becomes forfeit, any items they held will automatically be sent to item storage. Ah, okay, that's very interesting. Very interesting. I like it. Pawn badges, uh, we've already seen these. Uh, and directing pawn interacting with go. Using the go command prompts a pawn to interact with enemy by treasure chest mechanisms, gathering spots, or similar in the direction indicated. So if you see something that interests you in the vicinity, why not use go to have your pawns investigate for you? Well, that's what I tried to do. But I clearly didn't do it correctly. My bad. All right, well, we're going to wander around a little bit. I think I'll go rest first. Hello. Might you be looking to enlist? Uh. No. Can't say I am. Off to the tavern, eh? I might be off to the tavern shortly, too. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at inns at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. Donk. This is now mine. Is this an inn? Hoy there. Ah. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. Well, that is actually quite nice of you, I must confess. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, this inn seems being plenty armed fine. Is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should oh. stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Okay, so I'm learning from this that I need to pay attention to both what's being said in the subtitles and what's being actually said, because they don't always agree. Seeing as an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina, it also recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night, useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when travelling far afield. Okay. Aye. Can I chat? Being armed is better than being defenseless. You should stop by the inn in yeah. Melv if you get the chance. Sure, we we'll must rest. rest. Though the sun is still up. Okay. Seriously though, the, the first opportunity I get, I will be uh, shifting Persephone's tone up a bit, I think. Or well, maybe. I don't know. It might grow on me by then. But that is, I think the main thing that, that's jarring me is that's not what I expected. You know how when you like have a sweet or have a drink, even if it's a drink you like... If it wasn't the thing you were expecting to taste, you will quite often like gag and, and, and splutter or something. Just because it didn't meet your expectations. Not because you didn't like it. It might be a drink that you're actually quite fond of normally, but you were expecting water. And you I've got. For combining materials that, that I hope what? you'll find useful. I, I've been I'll assaulted. What I can using what's in my pack. I said no before, I'm fairly certain. Uh, 
Uh, can I see pawn details? Are you another cap? Are you a Capcom pawn? Uh. Yes, yes, there you are, down there, I've risen details. No, no. I'm good, thanks. Snark alarm, don't worry, Avec. The first opportunity to change her voice is only a single microtransaction. Oh, God damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, pawns are quite pushy about getting hired. Right, okay. This is one thing I don't like, them just locking you into a conversation. For example, right now, just walking into a pawn will trigger conversation. Should be able to adjust that. That would be nice. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. I'm also not a huge fan of the way mouths move when talking. Where ought we to input? go now? Okay, never mind. All right, let's have a look at my quests. So, in the Dragon's Wake, you've heard word the, the dragon attack in Melv. Make for the village and witness the aftermath yourself. Okay. Uh, make for Melv. Has he risen? You bear a deep connection to the dragon? Sure. You have heard word. La, la, la. Kate on map. Okay, so it's a little ways away. All right. Update new, update old, received new. Okay. A lot of stuff going on there. Not all of it obvious to me yet. Uh, ooh. Have those got, like, enhancement slots? Cycles, combine. Nope. Ooh, that can combine with something. Apparently these can combine with something to make tarring out. Yeah, that's right. We've seen those before. Uh, but Persephone has something, I think. Uh, yeah, just a lantern. Tutorial logbook, shops and facilities, resting at inns, staying at an inn is fully restored to body health. We've already read that, that's fine. Okay. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. Okay. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? You, you could. Paid, of course. Yes. I like money. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. And in the note, and he'll take care of the rest. That's you. Set a priority quest. You can select a quest to prioritize from among those that you have accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless a quest is set as a priority. Okay. I may set that up as my uh, directive then. Oh, you should really have taken stock of your materials before I started picking them up, because I'm going to be honest, you're going to be out of a lot of other stuff than you thought. Am I stealing? <laughs> Am I just going around robbing them? Mm, maybe I shouldn't be that kind of scallywag, but at the same time, I am a thief, so, you know, it's within character. Also, I'm more than a little concerned that I'm going to just slip off here and fall to my doom. Imagine setting up your camp right next to the, the wall like this. The cliff, rather. Madness. Madness and sadness. Oh, where? 
way. Um, where do you see the ladder? Okay. Is there all this pawn might do for you? Depends. Do you want to lead me to the ladder? Where ought we to go now? Oh, it's on the market. Okay, that's good. Right, I see. Also, a treasure chest. It is generally used as a material. Aged Scrag of Beast. This is the Japanese RPG world. People will be disappointed if you don't smash their pots. Okay, I, I guess. Maybe <laughs> they'll take offense. Are you, what, are my pots not good enough for you? I see. In need of aid, pray say the word. If your plane arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ear long. Wow. Root. I really want to go to... Oh, Stephanie, I'm so sorry. Are you alive? Yes. Phew. <clears throat> that was unfortunate. Almost sent you to your doom, I think. Go. Help. Wait. To me. Very well. I shall return. Okay, learning. Slowly, but learning. There was a chest that you saw, wasn't there? Let's try and get up there. Whoop. Hello. I've not the time for your prattling. Bother okay, well, I'll just else. take all of this then. Don't mind me. Fulgurus Lord. What the heck is a Fulgurus Lord? Let's go find out. A grimoire that casts a spell upon being read, usable even by those incapable of magic, invokes High Leavin, a lightning spell. Hmm. Provisioner's notes, a note penned by Sir Joffrey. Oh no. Contains a list of additional provisions he requires. Age Scrag Beast. We've got pri uh, Princess Hiss, but. Can't combine that with anything. Can't combine that with anything. Can't combine this with anything useful. No combining such sadness. However. Can I. Give this? I mean, this seems to be a useful one for me. I'm feeling, anyway. This cannot be! Myself to a tickle before bed. Switch weapon skill. oil, ripened hair spurred, go to items menu. Can I switch what items are on the menu? Please do not smash my pot. I want to smoke that still. What? A random adventure doesn't do it doesn't smash your pots. You're doing something wrong and will never make it. <laughs> wow. But how do I uh assign things to my hotbar then? I'm starting to wonder. Is there a way of doing that? These dash move pawn commands, da -da -da -da, vocation actions, grab release, pause menu map, nothing in there. Okay, that's gonna. I'm just gonna get to the point where I, I ignore the NPC logbook. As much as that little orange blob is going to draw my attention. I will never not have something to read in there, I feel. You guys like to quest prior to blah, 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 blah. We've seen that. But is there a way for me to, like, assign what my quick bar items are? 
at all. Uh, also, let's have a look at what I've, how I've been leveling up. Is there a way of knowing this? Uh, the, oh yeah, wow. Uh, these are a lot higher than the base. Not sure what that means. Weapon skill is biting wind. Dashes past the target with blades extended, following followed by further slashes when using the same attack on contact. Press the assigned button to activate. Press it again to unleash the attack. Flurry of dagger blows. Performs a deadly double strike forwards, followed by a powerful successive strike if the target is knocked off balance. Hold down to cling to large targets or to pin down smaller flinch attacks. Swift step. Okay. New vlog updates. Oh, experiment. Uh, okay. Acquired newest. I can combine it with a lantern oil, which I'm not sure I want to. I must confess. But I guess I could just experiment with it. Hey, Cripson, How are you doing? Thank you so much for the 49 months, mate. Chat, if any of you happen to have any idea what I need to do with that, I would deeply appreciate it. Often what matters is that the work gets done, not the hands that do it. When saddled with another's task, you can but hope that the trust you earn will make it worth the effort. Let's uh, make this my prime request. And I... Oh, there, yeah, was set as priority. Yes, you can switch hotbar items. How do I go about switching hotbar items? Like, how do I even access what's on the hotbar items? I've not seen anything that gives information about that, unfortunately. I might have been very oblivious to it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't switch the hotbar items. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't read that. My bad. Uh, I, or rather, I didn't read it properly. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me on that. Alright, so that is the ladder you were talking about. Uh, we don't want to go there. Alright. Then we need to vaguely go to the north end, I guess. But before we do, let's go and touch this rift stone. And see if we can't find some more peeps to come work with us. Okay. General information. Type race inclination. Okay. Weapon skill. Specialization. Or quest. Quest guide. Pawn quest. What's pawn quests? Pawn badge. Using it. <laughs> Using it. Okay. Alright. Let's see. There's a lot of way too high levels for me, frankly. Oh, no. Don't leave the rift. They're all the way over there. I see. I see. I see. I see. Would like a ranger if I could find one. You're crazy high level compared to what I've got available to me. I may have to just go with the ones that are around here right now because. Uh, Odds are, most people are leveling up. For oh, actually, we get you. I would rather take someone else's pawn if I could. Just because it might be, you know, it would be nice to interact with them. You're kind-hearted. Hmm. As a ranger. All right. You've got barrage shot. You have a pawn quest, but not quest guide. 
Either way, I am you. attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Very well. Yeah. Let's have a look at the details, though. Nothing particular there. Vocation, barrage shot. Uh, pawn barrages. Reward. Travel together for a day and night. That's the pawn quest. Reward is a weak stone shard. Interesting. All right. Few arisen details. So I can actually look at the arisen. Oh, wow. I like the tattoos. Very much like the tattoos, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right. Hi. If ever you need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Pawn quest, a task given to you. Oh, there we are. Uh, to your main pawn, uh, given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavour to get your pawn hired as often as possible. When setting a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select a specific item or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. It is also possible to trade with other Arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. Oh, so you let's say you were just using gold. You could say, uh, I don't know, get this item for me, this crafting mat, this rare crafting mat, and completion of the quest is a thousand gold. You're effectively buying that item off them. Okay. Now the qu next question is how the heck do I set my pawn's abilities. That's, that's jumping. How that's not I how you're going to do it. Arisen. Uh, can I talk about it now? Small I talk? hope you slept well, Master. I did. Thank you. I'll serve with redoubled vigor this day. Where ought we to go now? Okay, never mind. Alright then. Uh, wouldn't mind a fighter then, if we can find one of a uh, low enough... Yeah, here we go. Hello. Take me as your shield, Arisen. Upon my fighter's pride, no foe shall harm you while I yet stand. You have the same hair as me. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I do like your eyes, though. Uh, yep, pawn quest. Travel together for a day and a night. Wake stone shard is what we'd get. Username, Tim. Uh, okay, I see the name Winter for your eyes. Yeah, I like it. Uh, that's it. Blink, strike, defend, deflect, impale, onslaught. What's your... You're another kind-hearted one. Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of amused by that. It will be an honour to serve by your side. Oh, I do it later. Okay. Thank you very much for the info there. Alright. Let's head back then. Uh, search for... Oh, search for pawns. View unique pawns. You official pawns. These are special pawns that can be hired from the official pawn section of the Riftstone menu. They differ from regular pawns in the following ways. Their names are displayed in a different color. Official pawns of level 10 and below can be hired without expending Rift Crystals. The armor worn by official pawns cannot be changed. Official pawns will not appear in monthly or cumulative rankings and may be excluded from other aspects of the game. Additionally, Official pawns may only be available for hire for a limited time. Check our website for details about the availability of official pawns. I, I see. Um, fair enough. So these are all ones from Capcom. I take it. Good lord, those are expensive. Wow. Even a... Yeah, okay. No, we're good. Specialized quests. Oh, there's the specialization. Chirurgeon, Forager. Are the specializations only available to, like, the official ones, then? A few monthly rankings. This is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This is actually really cool. Oh. 
these are influencer pawns, let's say. Right, okay, so they're not all Capcom ones. Right, 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 I get you. Oh, specializations are an item you have to find. Oh, that's okay then. Well, let's have a look at some of these. Um, I assume anything with Capcom in it. Yeah, okay. I see it. Oh, actually, no, I wanted to leave the rift. God damn it. I swear, I'm so used to A being activate rather than jump. All right, leave the rift. Oh, set upon quest. Um, apparently, I can confirm it. So, it seems that you can set those quests? Or maybe those are the basic quests that you can set. I'm sorry. All right, then. So, current quest, provisioner's plight, we've just got to vaguely go north. So off we go then. Stamina and stamina consumption. Dashing allows you to move more quickly but continually consume stamina in accordance with the terrain. For example, more stamina is consumed when going uphill than it is when going downhill. If stamina reaches zero, you become breathless and exhausted, and your movements are temporarily limited. It's therefore wise to pace yourself to ensure you have the vim to tackle anything that comes your way. These are special pawns that could be hired for official pawns. Uh, pawn quest. Pawn quest are tasks given to you. Blah, blah, blah. We've seen all of that. What do I get up there? I don't think I do. Very well. Why don't you go back this way? Uh, ah, right, I see. Around this side. Really? Scoundrels. Oh, they're off. They are off. Okay. Well, there was some stuff around here that I wanted to come back and check, wasn't there? So this is a good opportunity for me to do it. I guess. Me back over here? Nope. Ah. Oh. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Oh. Very well. Hide swimmer. I do like that you have to bear in mind going uphill is going to be different. That's everything assembled. A job well done if I do say so myself. Hello, Marcus. Oi! Did you need something? I did. There you go. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. The accent though, so bad. Someone has to hire your point first before you can change it. Ah, all right. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teas. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make sure. haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. Pick you up and throw you in the water? Our search without delay. Where to first? All right, okay. Hair spuds and salubrious drafts. That shouldn't be too rough for us to do, to be fair. Uh, you want us to. You recruit the hair spuds. And... Oh, okay. Well, I can just give them to you straight away. I already had them. 
Now That's the kind of quest I like. Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Uh, I do not have the hair spots, but oh no, apparently I do. Womp. 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 There you go. Brilliant. I knew I could count on you. Hello, Powie. Here. Take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Okay. We Waking powder. Back. But what if, instead of going back, we go for a little bit of a hunt? Up in this here direction. The ultramarine waterfall. And also something up there. Uh, well, I guess we could actually go back first. Mm, but I don't want... No, we're going to go further on. I require exploring. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Uh, okay. Do you have much in your pack? 